you guys at the restaurant they come up with the big the 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 pepper grinders yeah they go tell me when to stop i want to see that dude jerk me off tell me when to stop oh you'll know when i stop <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one. one. New merch. August 1st, first. baby. The drop is here. When is it? August 1st. That's when we're doing the merch first drop. First of the month. Rent is due. No, your fucking vibes are due. Buy our merch. I'm wearing some right now. We got the Cash Money Records, Stiff Socks tee, blowing up the yards over here. Fresh as fuck, dude. Michael dude. Blaustein got blowing up the yards hoodie. Freaking um, cream color blow up the yards hoodie. We're Look also going to be dropping the blow up the yards documentary that the Patreon users, patreon.com backslash Stiff Socks pod, on YouTube for you guys to all view. On August first, August first. That's the when the drop. Is. And we're and next week, and we're, we're getting a new studio. We talk about it in the episode. We're getting a new studio. We're moving in. This is our last episode here, so we're going to show the new studio on the twentieth. We're also going to show some other pieces of the merch, so you don't want to miss next week's YouTube episode. It's a big one. Big, big, big. When one. is it? Big, big, big one. August first, merch drop, new studio. Next episode, guys. Eight one. Check 22. it out. Check it out, Gabe. Hit it to him. Bro, baby birds really just be getting fucking regurgitated too. Like mama birds. Mama! What? How, yo, if a. Oh, hold up. This is good. This is what? good. This is good What's podcast good? content. What if a mama bird is drunk and she's puking out all of her food? Do you think the child's like, let me get a hit? 100%. 100%. The funny. Kid, funny. <laughs> the kid's like, why are you eating fruit by the foot? Give me some. What do birds eat? Fruit by the foot. Is it a foot? Can't be. What? Fruit by the foot. That's got to be your favorite, favorite candy. That's got to be my favorite candy. Fruit by right. the foot in your ass. Put it on the fucking stand up. Put, put it on it. Put what on the stand up? Fruit by the foot. Guys, what's my favorite candy? I got such a goddamn foot fetish. What's my favorite candy? Fruit by the foot. Everyone suck my cock. Where's Netflix? Where's Hulu? Someone give me a fucking special. YouTube Red. What's up? YouTube Red. They tapped out That's quick. not a real thing, huh? Why, but why? What, what is enticing about Red? Ooh, kinky. It sounds flirty. That sounds like yeah. where you can see an areola or two. YouTube Dude, red. Red is the color of sex. What's Why the color is that? of sex? Gray. Fifty Ew. shades of gray. Gray. Is the guy named Gray? Fifty shades. But is his name Gray? Greg. -uh. What if it was fifty shades of gray? What if you popped out the pussy name Greg? People do that. <laughs> yeah. Greg Wilskeberg? Would you go by Gregory or Greg? I go by put a gun in my mouth. <laughs> I wouldn't fucking go by Greg. Hey, what's up? I'm Greg. Who the hell meets someone named Greg and goes, you're going to be my husband. Greg. Your name is Greg. You sound like a vending machine. Yeah, that's a, it just sounds flat. Yeah. It just sounds like an old school, like Windows monitor. Greg. Greg doesn't, Greg tinkers around with the car. Tinkers? Yep. Like the bell? Maybe. <laughs> Tinkerbell was hot. That's the second podcast in a row I said that. can't say that. Why? I don't know. It's Julia Roberts on the movie. Julia Roberts was of age. Is it just her voice though? Or is it literally No, it's literally her? in the movie. Let's see. There's a one that's not animated? You fucking idiot. <laughs> Hook! <laughs> Please Hook? say it's like, are you, what are you talking about? Hook with Robin Williams. Oh, I've seen that. Oh, she I know. Is kinda bad. What I say? Let me see. Say it again. I, what the fuck? <laughs> yup. Look no, at that. No, no. What do you mean? No. I've seen that person in silver like multiple <laughs> times. Yeah, and she's got wings. You ever been jerked off by wings? But that's not the Tinkerbell everybody's thinking about. Everybody's thinking about the animated one. No, you're a prisoner of your own. Oh, experience. whoa! I just canceled myself. There you go. Fuck. Who the hell called me? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. <laughs> Absolutely. Dude, I've been getting multiple texts and calls just from out of the blue. And you're just like, in what world would you just, hey. Out of the blue me. Few, a few, a few Ow. people that are just like, like a random call. And you're just like, we, th yeah. is this a prison line? Oh, hello. We haven't talked in a while. D yeah. You ever get a Calling call somebody out of the blue as well. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Anyone that ever, anyone like really close to you ever ask you for money? I haven't got no. that yet. I haven't got like my cousin texting me and be like, hey man, long time no text. The long time no text is a hilarious text to get. If you say long time no text, I don't want your text. I haven't talked to you in a while. You know why? Don't like you. If I liked you, we would talk. That's Valid. how I feel. Valid. We would stay connected. If you're in jail and you need to get bailed out, who are you calling? Both your parents are dead. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I'm staying in jail. My father is now my cellmate, Ruben. No, Ruben is a sandwich and a man. 
<laughs> really is. That's a and movie. a man. And a man. You showed up to the studio today with an eight day old. What is it? Orzo salad. What's no. wrong with that? I go, where, did, where is that from? Thinking it's a restaurant. He goes, oh, it's from the barbecue. And I go, oh, the 4th of July barbecue? Yep. And he's like, yeah. And that was... Uh, what day is it right now? Uh, seven days later. It's a week. Orzo salad's fine. It's just pasta. How is that not... I get all leftovers in my head. Me too. Four Three days. days. Three days. What, but why is this one get the fucking Expedia.com rate? I'll tell you why. Because this was made not by me. If I make it, I got about four days until it's gone. But this one's from the uh, from the grocery store. What the hell's that? Yeah, but the grocery store. Yeah, that's been sitting there for three weeks. I don't give yep. a shit. Yeah, you shouldn't trust the grocery store. Nah. Did I tell you we used to steal corn dogs as a child? Well, say that again. <laughs> <laughs> so, at what type of fucking orphan behavior is that? Steal corn dogs. Big orphan behavior. Yeah. So here's what we would do. I wish I was an orphan, dude. The deli at Vons, like the hot hot deli. Yeah. The chicken tenders and the corn dogs would be heat. And they give it to you in separate bags, right? Okay, yeah. So, so the corn dog was a dollar. Chicken tenders higher price. A chicken tender is more than a corn Wait. dog. Wait, yeah, come on, baby. Uh, what do you think deep fried muffin hot dogs are going to be more expensive? God, corn muffins under corn muffins. Rated. Yeah, it's a corn muffin around the hot dog. That's what it, corn that's, bread. Corn muffin, corn bread. What Same the thing. hell's a corn muffin? <laughs> we you fuck up to corn a, up. Yeah. Corn is, I've said this a thousand times, it goes in a gas tank and it's a muffin. What about potatoes? Potatoes have zero shot. Potatoes are a salad and a baked potato. You, it and a be, mashed potato. Whoa. And, and a french sweet fries. potato. Sweet potato. Underrated. I'd say so. You put cinnamon on your sweet potato? Sure. What the hell? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Stealing. Anyway, yeah. so we would, uh, so the, the, the corn dog was 99 cents, right? But yep. the chicken tenders, we'd get a few of them in a separate bag. Then we'd walk down a random aisle. We'd open up the bag. Then we'd put all of the chicken tenders in the corn dog bag. Got it. So that whole bag was now one cent. Heavy ass bag. One cent? Um, 99 cent. 99 cents. Oh, so they pre-label it 99 cents. You throw a bunch of shit in there, close it, and then... Yeah. So you steal chicken tenders. You wouldn't steal corn dogs. Correct. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's great for audio. <laughs> Guys, this is our last podcast in this studio. We, we've we had a great run here, I would like to say. I, I've liked the whole time we've been here. We're moving. Dude, we've been seeing photos and videos Guys. of the new studio. Guys. It's so cool. Guys. It's so cool. The new set is going to blow your cock in You half. think this one LED light is doing something for your, for your affirmations, bitch? Affirmatize. It's going off. Let me tell you something. This is what the new studio looks like. Take acid, go to a Dave & Buster's. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. About to pop some Flintstone vitamins and think about the future. What is going to happen in the future? We only got about five more years to live. What? There's, yeah. There's going to be a volcano or a comet. 100%. Yeah, I don't We're know. all going to die in like five years. But here's the thing. Wouldn't you like to know the ending? No. Oh. I don't think so. I would like to know the ending. Because let really? me tell you something. If I got six months to live, I'm getting fucking herpes so fast. I'm coming everywhere. But Do you have a, do you have a dresser? A dresser? Do you have a dresser? No. You don't have any drawers you, you put clothes in? No. Where do you hang your stuff? On a rack. I'm coming on that. <laughs> if I have That's five months, if I have you five months, all live, that just to say that. Yeah, I'm coming on that. I'm coming everywhere. You got six months to live. That's it. Six months. Yeah, dude. If I had six months to live, I would live like I was in the fucking hype house. One hundred percent. I would blow all my money. Three Lamborghini Urises. Yeah. All the same color. Blow your money. I'm blowing a raccoon. Fuck it. <laughs> You check the time machine back. It's like, oh, no, no, no. It was 60, 60 months to live. Fine. Still weird. Six, how many? Six, 60 months is a long time. 12 divided by 60. Don't know that. There's five, no way. Five. Don't help him. Yeah. He five got years? It. Yeah, five. Did you well, say five? Yeah. Good job. Because 60 divided by 12 is five. I don't know if you know this. Because I'm, I'm 60. What? This is going to get weird. 60. Am I 60 inches tall? No, you're not. No, five, 11 and three quarters. No, so what's I, that? wait. If I'm 60 inches tall, am I five feet? No, I'm six feet. You're six feet. 72 what am inches. I? I don't know. You only got two feet, though. I'm Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, I looked at my uh, 23andMe again just to, you know, do a little perusing. Fucking 52% Ashkenazi Jew. That sounds fancy. Yeah, Ashkenazi. What is that? I don't know. It's, uh, it sounds like the dish that came with your pasta. Hold up. Orzo hey. on the side of Ashkenazi? 
Hold up. What Jewish we- girls be sucking cock. <laughs> It is a, yeah. yeah, I just like it. I, and it's kosher because it's 100 percent meat. Whoa. Meat. What the stuff that comes out of it? Is it dairy? What? Come? Dairy. How come everybody half has lacto- half. what? Half and half. That you come half and half. Oh. Yep. How come every person that says they're lactose intolerant still just slams ice cream? They're like, I'll just deal with the pain later. Well, because ice cream's so good. True. What's your favorite kind of ice cream? Ready to go. <clears throat> Vanilla. <laughs> you are. So dumb. I'm dumb. What do you like? All, Rocky Road? Like all a, the things, like all the things you teenager? can put in. I'm saying you can get any brand, any type of thing. Oh, oh, oh. Vanilla. <laughs> Regular vanilla or French vanilla? French Ooh, vanilla. Oh. There you go. Oh, don't toi why, vanilla. Why, why? Why? You don't. Know, it's boring. Is it? Or yeah. does it taste fucking perfect? It's a Toyota Corolla of ice cream. No, it's not. Yes, See, it is. That's what an uncouth person would say. Couth? Yep. That's also what are these in, words you're that's saying? That's also in my salad. Uncouth. Uncouth. Not classy. Orphan. What do you like? <laughs> what do you like? Fish food by Ben and Jerry's. Did you hear what you just came out of your fish food fucking is the face? best ice? Honestly, that would make sense for you to like fish food. Why? Because you I, know what it is? It's chocolate ice cream with caramel. Uh, it's got little fish, chocolate fish. There's shapes of a fish. Right? Picture a fish, make a chocolate. Ew. And then it also has caramel and marshmallows. Ew, dude. It's fucking insane. That's wild. You're an idiot. Yo, you're an idiot. What's your favorite soda? Probably something fucking crazy. See, you're uh, the type of person. Mountain Dew. You're the type of person because you can actually tell a lot from a person by based just on asking. Soda? No, well, based on their favorite ice cream flavor. Okay, what, that is that, what, what does that say? Me. Why? What does it say about me? Because <clears throat> I think like. Yeah, but vanilla doesn't make sense for me. You'd be sucking on feet. I think you'd be a pistachio boy. Nah. Vanilla like doesn't pistachio. correlate with how I view you. Vanilla is plain and boring. And I feel like you're like, pff, I feel like you put like shock tarts in your ice cream. Yeah, like the Sour Patch Kids ice cream you can yeah. get. Yeah. Bro, I had some oh. Sour Patch Kids popcorn the other day. It was one of the worst what? things I've ever tasted <laughs> the in my life. What the hell did you they say? Put, they, they, they cut up pieces of, um, I almost said sauerkraut. What is sauerkraut? No one knows. Oh, the only person <laughs> that knows is the person named Ruben. What the hell is sauerkraut? Literally. It's raw it, cabbage. Fermented. It's what? Raw ca- cabbage. Cabbage, cabbage, cabbage should be illegal. Cabbage began used. Coleslaw, sauerkraut, kimchi. Kimchi? Kimchi's good. It's a fermentation. You like leave it in a jar for a while. Yeah, this is what I had. Ew, this is what crazy. I had. Ew. It was popcorn with Sour Patch Kids Ew. in it. It was one of the worst things I've ever had in my life. Yeah. And I love candy. Unless they sponsor us. Or you want to get sponsored by Candy Pop? Get well, your fucking what, dreams up. What, <laughs> God damn. I'm Trevor Wallace, and I'm doing stand-up on the road. We're going to be in Irvine, California. It's close to Huntington. It's a chill place. July 22nd through the 23rd, Friday, Saturday, four shows. Then I'm going to Hawaii, Oahu, baby, Blue Note Lounge, dog. It's in Waikiki, and it's going to be Waikiki fucking lit. It doesn't rhyme, but leave me alone. All right, July 29th. What? But you don't got the time. It's going to rhyme, but you don't got the time. There it is. Waikiki, Kiki. Do you love me? <laughs> there it is. July 29th, two shows, Friday. Then we're going to be in Calgary, Alberta. We got five shows, August 11th through August 13th. Edmonton, Michael and I are going to be there together in Edmonton Woo-hoo. for a festival thing with Tom Segura, August 14th. Then we're going to be in Las Vegas at the Mirage, August 27th, the Mirage, Las Vegas. It's fucking selling, and I'm so excited. Madison, Wisconsin, Labor Day weekend, September First through the third, Madison, Wisconsin. It's a small comedy club, but I've heard great things about it. My hometown shows, baby. Oxnard, California, the 805, dude. Where are all my fucking SoCal bros at, dude? Hometown, we're going to run it up uh, September 16th through 18th. Then we're going to be in Houston, Texas, November 4th through the 6th. And there's some other theater tour dates for part two coming soon. TrevorWallsComedy.com. Michael Blaustein. Michael Blaustein, stand-up comedy. Michael Blaustein here is where I'm going to be. Uh, July 22nd to the 23rd, I will be in Austin, Texas. Those tickets are selling, so go get them, guys. August 4th to the 6th, I will be in Chicago, Illinois. Brea, California, I'll be there August 11th. Vancouver, new date, Vancouver Theater, no. August 12th. August 12th, um, Edmonton, me and Mr. Wiles will be doing a festival with Tom Segura, August 14th. Um, Oxnard, 
California. I'll be there August 24th. Tempe, Arizona. I'll be there the 8th to the 10th, September 8th to the 10th. Madison, Wisconsin, September 22nd. Milwaukee, September 23rd. And those are all the dates I'm going to do so far. Um, so go to blogcomedy.com, blogcomedy.com to get tickets. I love you guys. And uh, hit him with the splat. God damn. Uh, Mr. Wallace, can I ask you a question, dude? Please do. Is it hot outside, dude? Scorching. And you know what's the best for hot days? When you're sweating after the gym, after the freaking beach, during the beach. Hydration. Hydration. That's what I'm saying. Hydration station. And you know what's great for hydration? Liquid IV, dude. It sure is. Liquid IV. It's Guess in- what I got in here. What? Liquid IV, baby. Buddy, you the know watermelon what? flavor. The best one, by the way. You know what's great about liquid IV? You just take the pouch, you open it up, you put it in a goddamn uh, 12 ounces of water, and it's three times the hydration of that one water. Dude, so I probably have like, what, 73 ounces in here of hydration? Yup. Damn, I'm hydrated till noon. Incredible. Dude, we travel all the time. And what, what happens at a hotel? We're like, dude, is never there have water? Any water? There's no water. There's no water. So you're always like looking for it. Or you got to make do with what you have. You have like a mini like airplane bottle from Delta because you're flying business plus because you think you got it, but you don't. <laughs> now you're dipping it on in there and you know, you're trying to just maximize what it is. But it has like all the essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B... 12 be aggressive be e aggressive and yep. vitamin c dude uh it's just it's it's made with premium ingredients this stuff is legit uh no gmo and free from gluten me dairy and soy okay but yeah i mean you're going to a bachelor party this summer i'm going to one this weekend dude it's i'm i'm bagging up it's essential dude you're the kid you're the, you're the kid that brought gum to the classroom right everybody's let me get some let me get some yep. the stuff's the real deal it tastes for real good the watermelon and the strawberry are my favorite uh, also the matcha one with the energy buddy me up. love it and they got a vitamin c one if you're feeling a little <coughs> and everyone's like dude what makes liquid iv so effective cellular transport technology C- ctt 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 designed to enhance rapid absorption of water and other key ingredients into the bloodstream dude that's what makes it so freaking effective okay so where are you gonna get it i'll tell you grab liquid iv in bulk nationwide at costco or you can get 25 percent off when you go to liquidiv.com and use promo code socks that is liquidiv.com promo code socks to get 25 percent off your entire order guys go get it be hydrated for the freaking summer dude god damn what's on your vision board right now three things go feet feet and feet <laughs> oh all right um I, no i mean i don't know picture my mom's pussy i don't know i, I don't do you have a vision board no yeah i don't either i used to write my goals down why did i stop i that? write my goals i write my goals still yeah every year how do you feel about people and i know somebody who does this so I'll, no shade how do you feel about people who no i think you might like this okay they write their goals on post notes and they put it around their mirror <sighs> um comedy land loser <laughs> you don't know what pussy feels like in real land that's fine <laughs> yeah no that's yeah, fine. fine yeah yeah, I remember I had my goals written down in my old Santa Monica apartment, 2017. Yeah. I still have them. I should read them on the show. Should I read them on the show? Yeah. And some girl made fun of me for having those. You know where that girl is right now? <laughs> Do you know where that girl is? <laughs> I don't know. But that made me feel really bad. Of course. But she is. Isn't that fucked up? It is pretty We live in up. a society. We live in a society Uh-oh. where you make fun of people for having goals. Because you know why she made fun of you? Because she has no goals. Should I read them? You have them? Uh, yeah, I just I just said that. Oh, I. You know what's funny? The person who called me said, "You want to play pickleball? A few of us are getting around at six p.m. You want to come?" I'd like to come. Lose my number. Whoa! That you called me out of the blue. What's pickleball? Also out of the pickleball blue. is what's where blue? you're white, huh? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I found it right here. Twenty seventeen goals, baby. Gabe, yeah, I can send you this photo. Do you want me to read it? I absolutely read it. want this to This might it. be some entrepreneurial, wholesome boy shit. Give it to me. Yeah, it's not going to be bigger cock on there, number three. Uh, four, but yeah. yeah. So this is this is the goals I wrote for 2017, five years later. 60 months later. Remember we Whoa. talked about earlier? Everything comes full circle. Comes. If you... Comes full circle. If you came in your own ass, is that a boomerang? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can, hold up. If you can consistently fuck your own ass, I wouldn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Just be like, it would look like a kettlebell? Yeah. 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 And then get it stuck. Kettlebell! And then get it stuck in there and someone just fucking, yeah, go ahead. Hear me out. Goals. 2017 goals. I wanted a video with more than a million views. That's it. 
I said, I want one video with more than a million views. It'll happen soon. <laughs> I wanted 50,000 followers on Facebook. I wanted 1,000 followers, 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Post, and I wanted to post four videos a month. Hustler. I wanted to do 21 days of writing. Okay. Well, I wanted to book one commercial. I wanted a, one manager agent. I wanted 40 minutes of material, 20 minutes of new. Um, I didn't write how many I wanted on Instagram. Loser. This is pre TikTok. Who would have known? I would have been the TikTok guy. That was really it. That was Dude, really it. I wanted to feature on the road once, which means I just opened for yeah, one somebody. guy on the road. But, but dude, this is like, this is really inspirational for people. Yeah. I wanted one video with a million views. Humble. Humble. Now. Now, if you get under a million, <clears throat> you want to swan dive off the top of a Sheridan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I get under a million and I put on some Charlie Puth and that Wiz Khalifa. When I see you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you think when they made that song, they were like, oh, this is going to slap at funerals? <laughs> <laughs> that song, man. I've, I haven't been to too many funerals. They make me so sad, man. I mean, they shouldn't make on, you happy. I know, but like some people, well, some religions, some places, they like, it's like a celebration of life. But when that song comes on, they start playing a slideshow. I mean, listen, if I, if I die and y'all motherfuckers do a slideshow, I'm going to be upset. What do you want them to play? Your Nothing. most viral TikTok? I don't want a fucking funeral. What do you put want? Put me, burn me, put me in a fucking bottle of Fanta, throw me into the Pacific. Who gives a shit? You want to go out littering? Who cares? Why are seagulls so... Oh, that's not really Jerry Seinfeld. What's the deal? deal? Why, no, but what, so why are they always putting their heads in the, the six-pack coasters? They're like, oh, is this bling? Is this ice? Oh, like wear oh. A chain? I don't think they're doing it on purpose. Really? If Do people can... still care about plastic straws? Nah. Mm. I don't think people still care about the environment. Is recycling a hoax? Yeah. I... Thank Isn't you. Isn't it? Yeah. Dude, I said this to someone, and I, I think I said this on my podcast before, but I said this jokingly. Some girl, that she worked for a recycling place. She got literally upset. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, 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 whatever, but it's a hoax. Your whole job is fake. Oh, yeah. Like, I, really. I put the yogurt cup in the recycling. Dumb. And my lady's like, uh, no, you got to rinse it out. I'm like, oh, wait. For this who? is not going to be what you think it's going to be. This is going to go inside of New Jersey. This is going to make a Jewel pod, all right? 100%. Jewel's got banned. They got yeeted off the market. Yeah, Jewel's? Uh, Jewel. Whoa. The family Jewel's. They're done. RIP. But there's so many other ones. How, so how do the ones that you viciously suck off, how do those get approved? I don't know. They're I don't salt nicotine. They what does that like, mean? They look like baby bottles, the ones that you use. Yeah, I think that it's all probably illegal and it's just, all the brands are like ripped off of just other brands there's like, just so many now they can't yeah, trace I just them don't all think down. they can do anything about it so vapes are illegal now oh, like so wh well, hold on well, why is something it? well why? the one that gabe uses is salt nicotine and that's like a loophole or something how do you feel about sea salt too big yeah too big rock salt because <laughs> then you get a bite and you get a crunch in there well i kind of like the crunch really yeah you don't like the crunch how do you feel about pepper I'm a big pepper I guy. I like pepper. I fucks with pepper. A Caesar salad with some fresh pepper on it? Boy, hold you know, it up. You know how when they come up, the, the guys at the restaurant, they come up with the big, the the the, the pepper grinders? Yeah. They go, tell me when to stop? Yeah. Boy, I almost never say stop. I want to see that dude jerk me off. Tell me when to stop. Oh, you'll know when I stop. Oh, you'll know because salt will come out. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Funny. Sex. Um, This is, man, you know what? what? I can't believe we're leaving the studio. This, this studio has had some great moments in here. Should we do a quick little recap? Uh, this is where Mia Malkova showed her feet, almost started a big controversy in your land Did of relationships. Did you say almost? Created a massive controversy. Create massive controversy. Upset the ecosystem. But can we talk about those views on TikTok? They did Hey, some views. I had a goal of doing a million on a video. Can we talk about a podcast that's doing, oh, I don't know. 32.9 million views on a clip with her. On also, 20.8. 20 That's more 8. than PBS. Is PBS Where the still fuck around? Is PBS? <laughs> PBS sounds like a horrible peanut butter jelly sandwich. PBS. <laughs> it's literally the acronym, peanut butter sandwich. Well, I fucked up. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> but, you know, first of all, PBS was the first Patreon. What? Yeah, they didn't they, have any ads. They didn't? Remember, I thought on the, Wait, the end of all PBS no, that's store... that's not how Patreon works. You got to pay for a membership to view exclusive content. Uh, yeah, I think the government pays for PBS. The government? How do we get some of that government cheese? What? Huh? We're, we just say Stiff Talks are educational. We're educational. It is podcast. educational. Yeah. 
I think people learn a lot here. I did. You did? Yeah. Here in this specific space. I learned a lot too. I learned a lot about my life. S- certain, so just certain, certain well, things. Well, know? this is a good angle. You, when you started in this studio, we, we've been in what, here, one and a half years, two years? We came in mid pandemic. You were still out here in these streets. Was I in the streets here? Oh, I was you very had much to in the streets. Yeah, because we had foot jobs in Phoenix. We had foot jobs in Phoenix. We also had that girl that I gave the old yes. one two hee ho to. We did the Patreon interview where Michael interviewed the girl that that's one of my favorite clips it's ever. It's one of too. my favorite clips ever. <clears throat> that's on Patreon, patreon.com uh, backslash stiff socks pod. But so we had what else do we have in here? We had we smoked weed in here for an episode. Mm-hmm. Whoa, Steve was our here. landlord. We had Steve O was in here. Steve O in here. Uh, Young Gravy was also here. Young I Gravy that, yeah. did Lisa part two in here. here. Lisa Ann, uh, Emily Willis. Emily Willis. Emily Willis is here. Sophia. I, Sophia Franklin. We've had some legends. I up came there on here. feet on the couch that Jack is sitting on right now. And that's a true statement. That is a true statement. You're li- yeah. Yeah. Our social media guy Jack is actually in the building right Isn't now. Isn't that the funniest <clears throat> sandal ever, semen? What? That's a sandal. The semen is a sandal. Anything on your feet is a sandal or a sock. Sandals are just convertible shoes. Well, put that on a goddamn Snapple fact because that's fire. <laughs> I, I nutted in the bathroom one time. You did? Yeah. You nutted when we were first moving in. You guys went to go grab something from Home Depot. You got nuts and bolts and I got a nut. And then y'all had the bolt. Hey, podcast. Uh, yeah, I think it's only mandatory. The new place doesn't have a bathroom in the location. So, so I guess, well, I mean, we all have... The, that's how we christen. Some people, you know, when Navy ships leave, they have a bottle of champagne, they smash on the front of the goddamn really? boat. Yeah. Do they do that? Yeah. What do you mean? They yeah. leave? They do that's, it? That's how you christen it. People don't know how to pop champagne on social media. Um. Yeah. People, Nobody everyone, does. I would say 90% of people on social media don't deserve to be on social media. <laughs> 98? All 98, of all them. All of them. True. But that's how we have to christen a new place. Gabe, have you ever come in here? Mm-mm. Not once? Damn. Gabe's like, I'll meet you guys there tonight. Yeah. Oh. It's semen time. So yeah, we all have to we have to come we all have to come in there. Did you just put the gum on the table? You spit it into my hand. And then I put it on the table. This is your gum on the table. This is your fault. Transitive property, you touched it last. And that's true. Didn't people used to say that in like middle school? Like, oh, you touched it last. Yeah, yeah. it's your responsibility. Fine, well, fine. How, how did you feel about people who would run up to you and like would steal your food and be like, my germs? Um, I uppercut them. You know what I hate too? Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. That's my yeah. fucking Jan sport. <laughs> it's just on the ground. What do you mean finders, keepers, losers, Finders, weepers? keepers, losers, weepers. The, so losers are crying? Yeah, lo- losers generally cry. Mm. I cried today. Today? Today. Really? Yeah. Had a bit of weep session. I feel awesome. You ever have a what good you, What do you mean? cry? We met here at 11 a.m. How did you have time to cry before that? Oh, You've been getting up early. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> you were crying over relationship shit? No, no. Because you're moving in together? <laughs> It honestly it's, it's happening. Michael's moving in together. Oh yeah, we're moving in. Me and my girlfriend moving in together. Big steps. Whoa. <clears throat> but yeah, I had a, I had dude, it was it was one of those things we have like a baby like tiff, little little argument and you're like angry about something that you think it's part of the like part of the actual fight, but you're not it's not you're not upset about what's happening. Something has been bothering you so you so you're releasing anger towards yeah, that but yeah. to do it. Yeah, yeah. Literally it's the old Mentos <clears throat> in the Diet Coke, and you yes. put a lid on it. Yes. And then dude. she says one thing. She's like, I want my eggs over hard. And you're like, what the fuck? You know when the last That's time That's a hard boiled egg. I haven't been hard one time since I met you. Like that shit. What? So, what? What was your guys' little tit over? So, essentially. Tip, w- tiff. Tit, tiff, tip, tiff. Tiffany? Tiff. Every tiff. kiss begins with K. <sighs> tits, average. Um, <laughs> they are, they're average. I actually, I actually love my girlfriend's tits. Hot take. <laughs> That's not a hot take at all. It's not? It's a very normal take to have. I think some people probably don't like their girlfriend's tits. If they're being really honest. Hey, Gabe, you like your girlfriend's tits? Yeah. Me too. Got them. <laughs> I mean, I, I, well, all right. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's not a feature you use. It's like every car comes with XM radio. But you're like, I don't need this shit. Who the hell They is call me an XM weekly. Radio. Yeah. How are you guys still in business? Dude, I don't know. Leave me alone. I don't hey, want your, your fuck- serious XM trial. Shut the fuck up. I say good. <laughs> it's about the end. Good. How or just to fuck with them. I'll be like, yeah, I'm down. They're like, wait, what? For they real? No, they have no idea. Well, let me patch you through to somebody else. I don't know how to do this. 
Yeah. Then Howard Stern gets on. You're like, how the fuck do you have time to talk to me? Howard Stern? He's still alive. Oh, no. No, he's bragging out. Bragging out. I mean, bagging out. So Nice man. <clears throat> so my girl goes, we're talking about what we're actually moving into the new place. But we're not moving into the place, right? What? Um, what it's been, it's uh, furniture wise. Oh. We're yeah. talking about that, yeah. Dude, it's, it's a whole thing. <clears throat> it's a whole thing. You right? got to so, just give in. Oh, yeah. So- We've established way long ago that we're we're gonna get we're gonna buy a couch. We're not gonna use hers. I don't like hers. She doesn't like my couch. Whatever. Everyone's fine with that. Yeah. So we're talking about what we're doing. We're at my place. We're talking about what we're gonna do with my couch. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna try to put it on Facebook Marketplace to get some money back for it. But like, it's not a ton of time. So if we can't, if I, there's not enough time to sell it, um, we'll just get the movers to move the couch into the new place, ah. and then and then I'll just you know sell it. That's what I thought I could do too. Word. So she, but there's no like, alternative motives. That's what I was, cause I was like. Motives? Huh? I don't know. Motives? Honda motive. How come that's not a thing? I don't know. Detroit is in shambles. <laughs> when is that coming back? Detroit? Yeah. The whole city? The, the whole city looks like it's zombies attacked it. <laughs> you haven't seen it? No. I'm Why are we I've never sending been to money Detroit. to Ukraine? We have to be <laughs> sending money to Detroit. <laughs> no comment, huh? Where are we getting this money? <laughs> Eight billion to Ukraine. Eight bill? Son. Direct deposit? Who did that go to? <laughs> what if we just, what what if we just PayPal them fucking like eight billion dollars? PayPal's like, oh, we got to take a percentage on this. But that's true. Like when they say like, oh, we have a $1 trillion spending plan. Like who gets the actual cash? China. Who has it in a bank? China. <laughs> no, but like what bank? China. Any other questions? <laughs> Are banks all digital right now? What's Wells Fargo? What's a Fargo? North and South Dakota? Don't need those both. <laughs> One Dakota. We're fine. That is wild. That out of all the states, there's North and South Dakota, but it's just all California. We need West Virginia? We got a long ass state. We Dang. got a hot dog on a stick of a state. You know what's funny? People are like, oh, the, the Florida looks like a cock. Oh, yeah? California, much bigger cock. Is California the longest state? It's got to be. Yeah. That bitch is all up and down the coast. What yeah. the hell are we doing being one state? I don't know. But what does that even matter? Who gives a shit? Nobody. That's, so, that's what's so funny is like, oh, you're from a state? Like, if somebody's from, like, I'm from Colorado, you're like, oh, it's stupid. Then they're like, yeah, we got yep. Chiba you like, What does that have to do with anything? It's just so, the territories are funny. Territory because it, they're all invisible lines. Yeah, they're like, oh, you, you can find the border and just jump. I mean, you I'm know, what's funny, huh? There's a place in the United States where all four states connect, and people take photos there. Dumb. You know what that means? Beat their wives. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Is that what Ludacris was rapping about when he's like, what? I got hoes in different area codes. He Maybe. just has one hoe, but she's standing there. Oh, you could fuck in four states in one day. Where, where is that place? The go? United States. That's a good point. <laughs> Connecticut's for real? Connecticut's like a real place. <laughs> God damn. Pop quiz, he licks. What, dude? Huh? How are you sleeping these days? Buddy, honestly, sleeping like a freaking baby in a rock. And why is that? Because I got the Helix mattress, dude. Whoa. Yeah. And let me tell you something. I don't know if you know this, but sleep is one third of your freaking life, dude. Too so much. You, it honestly is too much. Too much. How do we not just have one fully charged battery for our entire life? I would just like one fourth amount of my life for sleep. Then you got another three thirds to go live your life. Too much match. Too much. Here's the thing. What? But since we are sleeping so much in life, you need a good mattress. You know who has that? What? Helix. Helix, dude. How does it work? Um, Helix Sleep has a quiz that takes just two minutes to complete and matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you, buddy. Because if you like a soft one, they got you. You like a medium one, they got you. You like a hard one, they got you. Hard. Why would you buy a mattress made for someone else, dude? With Helix, you're getting a mattress that you know will be perfect for the way you sleep, buddy. And they also have soft, medium, firm, everything you're looking for. And dude, they cool you down. They can make you hot. Whatever you want, dude. Yeah, they make you hot. You can make a panini in their goddamn mattress. Whoa. Uh-huh. I took the Helix quiz and I was matched with the perfect freaking mattress, dude. I got the Lux freaking king. I feel great. I feel like a king, okay? So if you're looking for a mattress, you just take the quiz, you order the mattress that you're matched to, and the mattress comes right to your door. Shipped for free. free. How much? Freaking free, free. Dude. You don't have to go to a mattress store. You don't nope. have to worry about delivery dates. They just ship it to you. Boom. Dude, I hate getting a mattress store. They're like, oh, how is this? I'm like, I'm going to fuck my girlfriend in this. Can you help me? And they're like, what are you talking about? Sir, Like please. firm or soft? You're like, I'm hard right now. I'm hard. Okay. You don't even need to go to a mattress store again. It's incredible. Easy so, peasy lemon 
Squeezy. Squeezy. Just go to helixsleep.com slash socks, take their two-minute sleep quiz, two and they'll minutes. match you to a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your freaking life. Dude, they come with a 10-year warranty, and you get to try it out for 100 nights. Buddy, 100 nights risk-free. You sleep 100 nights, you don't like it, return that shit, but you won't because Helix is the freaking best. Okay, Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for your listeners at helix.com slash socks. Did you hear me? $200 off your uh, mattress order and two free pillows. Okay, go to helix.com slash socks, dude. Go get it. 130 life. Sleep better. Goddamn. Manscaped. Look, it's officially summertime and everybody talks about looking good and having a fatter cock. I talk about that all the time, dude. <laughs> oh, look, it's time to nut up or shut up, dude. Take the easiest step to looking sexy this summer by using Manscaped. Manscaped's ultra smooth package to make sure you have the proper care down there. Dude, what is the Trevor Walls video? Rhyme one more time and I get residuals. <laughs> dude, they have boxers. I was wearing them the other day on stage. They're great. They're silky. They look like like honestly fashion like girl yeah. wants to pull my pants down she saw the manscaped boxers <clears throat> she'd be like oh my god that's so oh she had a bug in her throat <laughs> a firefly yeah she didn't have a she'd firefly that's what you it's call good your material cock. yeah yeah yeah. no i get it, i get it so look what i'm trying to say is dive head 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 first into summer by joining the four million men worldwide who trust manscaped tm and get 20 percent off plus free shipping by going to manscaped dot com slash stiff you know what i love about this dude the ultra smooth package okay it is specialized three-step grooming shaving kit to help you buff protect and smooth the most sensitive areas they're talking about your cock and balls okay the crop shaver razor dude the crop um. exfoliator and the crop gel all right the kit is perfect to polish to make your family jewels shine this stuff is incredible dude we obviously highly recommend it. They've been a part of this Guardian podcast for so long, dude. And let me tell you something. I say this every freaking ad, okay? They got the body wash and the shampoo slash conditioner. I love it. It makes my hair just feel luxurious. It's incredible. I smell good. All right? I love it. Couldn't recommend it more. Where they do you get it? like wipes that you can wipe your balls if it's a sweaty day. You can just give it down a little glisten. Shing, shing. You know what I've been Polish using? Off. You know what I've been using those wipes for? Because I ran out of toilet paper. I swear to God. I, my asshole is, looks like a bowling ball. It's shiny. So, get 20% off, plus free shipping with the code STIFF at manscaped.com. Trevor's still looking at me weird. That's 20% off, plus free shipping with the code STIFF at manscaped.com. Just go to manscaped.com. Use promo code STIFF. Goddamn. Would you, for a million dollars, throw uh, yeah. a dart on a map, and wherever it lands, you have to live there for 10 years? Could we continue you can, to do you this can podcast? Do the podcast? You can still tour, but for 10 years, you have to live there for a million dollars. You throw a dart on it. I'm, I, here, here's the, you would have to blindfold me because I'm actually pretty good at darts. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. It's a whole map. You could, you could be good at darts and be like, oh, can't wait to get New York. And then you just a little too far left. Now you're in fucking Hoboken. It's Hoboken, <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> That's what I said. No, you said Hoboken. It's just like- You wouldn't hit it anyways. I, I wouldn't hit New York. You I would land in Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey. That's fine. I'd rather, Is it? I don't know. I just ran a random city generator for you, Michael. You're going to go to Anchorage, Alaska. I would rather cut my fucking left leg off, wrap my cock so around So that's it. what I'm saying. For a million dollars, would you throw it out there and for the next 10 years, wherever, wherever you land, you'd have to go? Um, no, it's not enough. 10 years is crazy. What about one year? One year, one million dollars. Yeah, 100%. You'd have to blindfold me, man, because I would just, I would fucking go, because to hit California wouldn't be that hard. To hit Texas wouldn't be but that I'm hard. But I'm picturing like, like, it's like a piece of paper. It's not like a big. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah. In my what head, what like did you think this was? I don't know. It's like as big as a sign or something. We should do that. How do we do that? Do we have a dart in here? No. Wouldn't it be wild if Gabe was like, I have one. <laughs> God. Um, crying. Weeps. That's what we're talking about. <clears throat> so my girl goes, uh, um, well, so I, I pitched her the idea. I was like, if it doesn't sell it's in the time, couch, yeah. we'll that's what it. I did. Yeah, of course, it didn't go well. Well, but of course, it didn't go well. I ended up crying, so obviously not well. You ended up crying over a couch? No, it's it's. How do you talk? go from coming on a couch to crying on one? A uh, Drake album. Whoa. So, but it's just like the Mentos and the fucking Diet Coke you were talking about. Bodies just right? have so much fluid. Yeah. What a weird thing going Bodies on. Bodies never have good ideas. Oh, I feel sad. What am I going to do? Cry. What is that going to do? You actually feel... Aw like, crying... A good cry is almost as good as a good cum, and I will say it might be better. 
there's no post cry regret. Well, if you do it at a, in a job interview, it's probably you probably have a little regret. Well, no, I don't know. You don't think you but it's better than jerking off in a job interview. Well, what are your qualifications? <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, sure. <laughs> Give me four minutes in a Macy's catalog. Dude, Macy catalog women, those tits is be out. Those were like the ideal. And those were MILFs. That was the stepmom category before Pornhub had it, was the Macy's catalog. I'm, I wanna... Did you ever see the Mervyn's catalog? Who the hell is a... Hey, Christ. you know what Mervyn's is? No. Nah. Was that just a California That's thing? Because I remember them. Mervyn's was... Uh, it's like a ma- like a JC Penney's with like uh, with Werther's on it. Did, yeah. did y'all have Hex? No. See, our no. East Coast our Hex is y'all's Mervins. Hex. 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 Like is a like, gone? Huh? Like a gone? Yep. Hexagon. Do you remember what I got it? <laughs> so there's a shape called a hexagon. Do you remember when you learned your shapes? No. No. There was a maybe. There was a know. there was a game I used to play with as a kid, and I learned all my shapes. I was like so excited about myself. What game was it? Learn the shapes, doc. Or I don't know. I forget. Mm. But I learned. I remember. I learned like a, a trapezoid, and I was like, "Oh shit, trapezoid." Yeah. Why was there so many triangles? Obtuse, rubber goose, green shake, <laughs> chocolate shake. There was obtuse, acute, acute. You remember that stupid ass joke? Always... Was like, "What's your favorite triangle? What, what's the cutest triangle? Acute." You know the worst part about that is what somebody got pussy off that joke. hundred percent, dude. People got pussy off anything. People are like, "Oh look, people I got pussy off knock knock jokes." Son. Knock knock, what's there? My cock. Well, <laughs> people. People has uh, there's a lady that saw a dude jump roping and was like, "I'm trying to beat." What? What's the weirdest thing? Tether ball. Yes, <laughs> but again, that's a dominant sport. Bocce ball. People getting cooter off bocce ball. Oh, you're the number three bocce ball player in Connecticut. Dude. Here's my vulva. Joey Chestnut gets cooter. Joey Chestnut can suck my cock any day of the week. You wouldn't have a cock. Uh, true. It'd be gone. I don't need Dude, it. Dude, dip it in water. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what is this mini corn dog? What? Uh, Joey. Yo, it's not mini. Goddamn. Big in a blanket you know ass how cock. big you got to be to make Joey Chestnut choke? Big as my cock? Let me see it. All right. What do you think it looks like? <laughs> All right. A henna tattoo. <clears throat> Funny. You know there's tattoos out there that are like two years. You can have it for two years and it goes away? I don't trust those. No. Nah. What are those ones that like glow in the dark? They're not seen. Yeah, that's what. This is weird. You go to show up to like a laser tag arena. Yeah, you should have sixty nine tattooed on your forehead. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, crime. We're gonna get there. Yep. So the couch. So the couch. So I picture my plan of you know if it doesn't if I don't sell it then we'll bring it back to the new place and I'll sell it there. She's very much against it and she's like really kind of pushing back, which makes sense because she knows that. One, well, her main thing was it's not efficient. We're going to use the movers and they're going to like, why are we going to have the movers move a couch if, a, yeah, if, if we're going to sell, sell it, it anyway? Right. So she was 100% right in this situation, but like I have this thing where, and what got me to start being like sad is like, I have this thing where like in my, I'm like proud of my apartment because I started from like fucking zero and I worked my dick up to have the ability to like pay for something like that I pay for my couch with jokes I pay for my rug with jokes so it's like the first place I had where I was like oh I have like money to actually buy a couch so for her it felt like a sort of like attack on the you couch tell me your point of making it in life in comedy is to buy a couch no, but you know what I mean? It was the first... I'm going to cry again. Just, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Right. No, I feel that. You know what I mean? And No, because you're connected to it and you're like, it's a very good couch. Much. I wanted it. It's very a, much. Because me, I always cut corners. I always just buy like a cheap, shitty couch. Yeah. So I didn't have that emotional connection. But yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah. 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 Just the first couch. I just like, I literally, the first couch I ever bought with like money I made from jokes. So it has this weird emotional connection. So I felt like in some weird way, which she would not, she wasn't doing, but I felt like she was like sort of like attacking the the quality of the couch. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. I'm so proud of myself for having this. And it like made me like, yeah, dude. And I just like Let got you real this. emotional. Yeah. It's a two bedroom, huh? Which one? Oh, the Where new place. Moving? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the couch in the other room. Oh, yeah. But here's the thing. I don't even, if you're like, Michael, do you actually love this couch? No, I don't like it. I like what it represents. And I feel like she was attacking what it represents. Does that mm. make sense? Mm-hmm. It's not like a couch where I'm like, oh, it's my favorite couch ever. Like I've taken naps on it and fucking love it. Oh, I don't really more care. than napped on it. Oh, I've you fucked. done sacked on it. Let me tell you something. Come hose, <laughs> hose, dude. I know my the couch is kind of deep, and so that's you, why she don't want it. That might be it. I took the goddamn. I took the. You take the back cushions off. That bitch a bed. Uh, that bitch a bed. A futon. Hold up, a futon. 
Put this in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a futon, no? No, no, no. no. Oh, it, it's just, okay. it's just deep. So I, I, move, yeah, you're right. Oh, I see. So, yeah. so how did that lead to crying? <laughs> no, because it was this weird moment where I was so mad in defending the couch. And then, so we had, a, we had like an argument. So like we went off into our separate spots. I'm sitting there like fake editing, trying to figure out the fuck I'm so mad Isn't about. Isn't that the it. worst when you try to do work when yep. you're mad? Oh, I'm heated. Yeah. I'm hitting the fucking, the, the goddamn space bar key like a, uh, fuck, I'm so upset. Yeah. So, and then, so like, I just walk up to her and I'm like, I need to figure out why I feel this way. So we had like had, we were like talking and then the whole like idea of like being proud of my ability to finally be able to afford like a couch, that kind of like idea came out mm -hmm. and that just like, that was the Mentos and a Diet Coke. I was just like, I'm so, as soon as I said, I'm just so proud of myself, son, water works, dog. Like I'm holding- just Hundred percent. So I'm like I'm proud. I'm crying. She's crying. Well, it's like a whole. Oh, I thought I thought it was just you crying. No, no, we were like she's it, crying too. Yeah, yeah we were embraced because then she like you know she like she felt bad. You know, it was a whole yeah. it was a whole thing. So it's like this cry fest, um, which I ha also I haven't worked out in like a week and a half. So I think I I needed to like get something out. Um, so yeah, dude, I haven't cried in some oh, like over a year. It felt awesome just to get it out. Yeah. Oh. But you're on the same page with your lady and you're just like, this is the real issue here. Yeah. Instead of just being like, no, I like that couch. Because she yeah. thinks it's just a style thing or they're trying to be cheap or yeah, cut corners. Yeah, 100%. But yeah. there is something much deeper to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. my situation was not like that. I had a kitchen table, shit table. Got it from Bob's Discount Furniture. It's I remember this table. It's in the name. It was fine. I liked it. It was fine. It's the one we had wings on, right? All the time? Yeah. I liked that one, the black Decent one. Decent table. It, Great it, table. It went from two apartments. And I was like, we should bring this here. Yeah. And she's like, no, it'll look cluttery. And I'm like, no, it won't. It'll be here. And then I was like, well, what are we going to do for a kitchen table? She goes, well, we don't need one. And I was like, we need a kitchen table. Uh-huh. And now, nine months in, we don't have a kitchen table. No, no kitchen table. So we eat all of our meals like we're just hiding from the police, just over on our couch, just scrunched over on the couch. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what? I feel like a table would be easier in this situation. No. We're yeah, no, yeah. We've already like sort of picked the kitchen table. We're gonna get this kind of like big like circular table with like like six six or eight chairs, or whatever. Um, but what? I get, yeah, do my girls all about like how many people? That's what I'm saying. My girls all about. She loves having people over. Me, I'm fine. I'll have you over, another friend. I don't need a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But she, she wants the ability to be able to yeah. host. She like she's a big host. Person. Well, I'll tell you what. We had people over at our house, whether it's our parents or our friends or like any of that. And it's when you don't have a table, it's awkward. Well, yeah. sitting crisscross yeah. applesauce eating a fucking nine course meal. What the hell's going on? Oh yeah, you you've had like people over, but it's like you gotta just you gotta just stand like you're at the Apple Store to eat your food. What the hell. Apple Store, listen up. Get some fucking chairs. What's going on here? What's going on here? <laughs> Apple Store done, they fucking, all that cloud got to the head. They used to be supportive and helpful. Now they don't give a shit. They're like, yeah, you can Google it. What? How come Apple doesn't have a Google? What? <laughs> <laughs> How come, oh, oh, their version of Google? <laughs> what do they have, Safari? But you, so what are you, Safari it? Stupid. Would you ever go on a safari? But, but safari is good because you're going for a search. Safari. Search. Sir. Search engine. Sir? What is, does Google stand for anything? There's some weird thing about the etymology of fucking Google. Etymology? Like the history of words or whatever. All right. I'm smart. Here's the funny thing about me. I come off like a fucking moron. But I'm, well, no, I'm really dumb in a lot of situations. But I think in some situations I can get, I'm like, do you, do you feel like, are there certain areas, well, obviously like social media stuff, you like, you like turn on, you're like, no, this is what is going to happen. Blah, yeah, blah. And yeah, at yeah. the end of the conversation, I go, oh yeah, 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 that sounds great. Yeah. The, the, I mean, yeah, it's, I think I'm very good at what I do job wise, but I think a lot of stuff I am lost. Do you lost. feel, do you feel the need to be like, all right, I don't, I don't want to be lost anymore in certain situations nah. you're like fuck it i don't care. No, because all i care about is my job of social media and stand-up and as yeah. long as i can continue to learn and get better at that then i'm happy when somebody's like telling me like yeah and this is a eulogy and i don't know what a eulogy <laughs> is and i just nod my head i go oh this will be done in two seconds that's so and then i show them my snapchat analytics 
And they're like, cool. Do you know what a eulogy is? And I'm like, no. <clears throat> is it on Melrose? <laughs> eulogy for a fucking like hype beast store? That I don't know what a eulogy is. Sir. Yes, you do. A eulogy? Yeah. Is that what you read at a funeral? Yep. Yeah. Oh. But a eulogy you read at a funeral, but you also like it's it's essentially just like you hype up the person that's dead. Man, oh. this dude, you know what people's favorite thing is? This guy is more than just a man. He's a dad. That's their favorite thing. Did I oh, fuck that yeah. up? Do you know what I mean? When no, they go, no, no. I, he's I more than. He was more than it? just a loving person. He was a loving father. That's what it was. There it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you guys see this? What is it? This is uh, this new TikTok trend. This it says uh, vabbing. The TikTok trend that says you should use uh, vaginal juice as perfume. <laughs> let me Ooh. get a spray. <laughs> I mean, let me get a dab, dip, dab, dab. You know, it's funny how like guys put it on like their arms and like their necks. Mm -hmm. Every guy would just be putting it on like it's Listerine strips. It's just, uh, I'm gonna get it. I'm get it. So what is this? You're also, I'm gonna be honest. Vabbing, when we go down on a girl, all we're doing is vabbing. You ever come up after eating some cool Lipstick. Go, I ain't saying what lips. Pussy. <laughs> Somebody? <laughs> Um, that's crazy. But yeah, you ever come up after eating cooter? You're like, I smell like cooter. That we we've been had vabbing. But that's like some Mufasa shit where like they like go down there and then they wipe it on your forehead, like in Tropic Thunder, just like come here. That's kind of hot. On the uh, forehead? Yeah, it's kind of hot. Oh, there's Wait, videos. Oh, there's a this? video. Hold yeah, up. So this is like a what is this? A tutorial? Trend. Yeah. Is, she's like trying to pitch it. Yeah. Is she the Ness Howcast girl? <laughs> We need to talk about vabbing because I've seen one too many ads for pheromone perfume and that's not it. I'm going to tell you why. Pheromones are like a secreted chemical hormone and every person's pheromones smell different to different people. Two of and the in words the wild, said. animals like secrete their pheromones to attract mates. And I swear, if you vab, you will attract people like a day, a one night stand, or you'll just get free drinks all night. Elle Wood should have been teaching what? vabbing instead of the bend and snap. It's more effective. And you're just going to have to hear me out. Trust me. Get up there, give them a swipe. You don't have to be like fresh out of the COVID shower, test? clean, but relatively clean. Dab, vab, behind the ears. You want to bet a thousand dollars she does not have a boyfriend? Maybe a little on the neck. I don't know what they're putting in pheromone perfume, but it can't replicate your own smell and your own personalized chemicals. Proceed with caution because it works. I have a lot of thoughts. This first thing that brought, came up to my mind is uh, the song Colt 45 by Afro Man. Mm -hmm. The intro of it. Have you heard of it? Yeah. It's like classic. It's like the blind man walk past the fish market and he goes mm, good morning ladies <laughs> and i can just imagine this girl imagine the first thing you do you fucking vab up you walk past a bus stop there's a blind man being like are we a pike place <laughs> is that a sea bass walking by me god damn i i think it would i think it would work you think it would work yes are you kidding me here's the thing you ever smell something that's like a little off and then you get another hit of it like you're like man that smells like shit <laughs> I think I would do that. I think I'd be like, oh, what the hell? I smell like cooter. Oh, let me get another hug. It's so weird. All right, grandma, see you later. Oh, shit. <laughs> what does your grandma cooter smell like? Go. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think I, 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 no. I think if you're down, if you're down to your last idea and vabbing is what it is to find your boyfriend, no. I think it works, though. Can't. Because, well, here's the thing. Everybody's used to smelling like juicy couture or whatever the hell else they're spray spraying. But like, you know the scent of cooter. These are the same These are the same people that are like, don't wear deodorant. It attracts people if you smell like shit. These are the exact same people. Did you hear that but I, lady but, talk? But, I, but I'm not saying that like dudes fall in love with the scent, but I do right. think it might stand out a little bit. They might be like, hold yeah, up. Yeah, because it smells like striped bass. Could you imagine you put that on yourself and then the guy's like, Damn, did you just get back from LA Fitness? She's like, what? It well, but can't that's smell thing. awesome. I've never been down there well, smelling a cooter and be like, a wow. Good, I will say this, me lady, me lady right now, I just sounded very uh, King Empire shit, has a clean cooter. So she yeah. could do that and it wouldn't smell any different. I think for this to work, you got to go rock climbing. Motherfuckers climb rocks for like fun. Bitch, you ain't a goat. Get Say, down from there. Motherfucker. Yo, first of all, a goat is named Billy. A Go Billy goat? But why do goats climb mountains? It's just like a riddle. <laughs> yeah. No, they climb like, like side of mountains, like vertical. Yeah. Their eyes are fucked up. <laughs> like, <laughs> who gave, some who gave squares. goat? Their pupils are squares. Why did why do they have snake eyes on a goat? Oh, snake eyes. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know.
I don't like it. No, is it snake eyes or do they have square eyes? I think the people no, are square. Fucking scary shit. Yeah, they're, they're eyes square, look right? Stupid. Yeah, that looks like a, a button on a cardigan. It looks like a goddamn dildo is what it looks like. You got dildo eyes. God oh, damn. Looks like you put 25 cents in there. Yeah, and then, and then juju fruits come out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's wild. Can you like I don't know, man. If, if you met your boyfriend all vabbing. I mean, what's, I, what's I funny is that would, do you think that would work for men? You just take some ball sweat, put it under your chin. Hey, I honestly maybe what? I, well, I, I, I think something like that. Might, it's kind of a scent. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It smells like a Tide Pod. It's, it, it, it smells like, uh, like, like mayonnaise has been in the sun for a few days. So the noodles you brought today. No, the Orzo noodles I bought are going to taste so good. It has a scent. Yeah, a little bit. It it smells a, uh, it smells like the ocean. It smells like it has an oceany sea salt. Yeah. Oh, pretty much. I think. Um, I don't know, man. The 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 whole like that. You know what they should do though? They should bottle that bitch, sell it. The vabbing. Yeah. They're set. Listen, only fan ladies are selling farts. Yeah. There should be a person you take a couple Q-tips, run it up there. A hundred percent. Put it in an Aquafina bottle. Ship it to Phoenix. <laughs> Weird things happen in Phoenix. It's too hot there. <laughs> it's too hot there. Yeah. I, Everyone's walking around sweaty, hard, horny. A lot oh, of horny man. things happen in Phoenix. You know, I was in uh, San Diego over the weekend. A lot of people just playing music out loud. A lot of people just speaker in the backpack, Bluetooth, blasting. There's a few things where I think it should be legal to shoot someone in the face. And that's one of them. But like blasting music. Too loud. Dua Lipa. It's 11 a.m. <laughs> I'm eating Eggs Benedict. Very you funny. Vabbing bitch. Ugh. What you know what's great is with vabbing, you can never forget your perfume because your cooter's attached. So if you're out there yeah. and you're like, wow, I forgot my perfume. No, I didn't. My cooter's right here. <laughs> can you imagine being on a first date with a girl and then she takes her fingers, vabs, and goes like this? In front of you? In front of you. Well, that wouldn't work because then you already see what's going on. I think if you just smell it on her, you'd be like, oh, hold up. Christmas came early. Came. Semen. Semen. I'm out. If I smell, if, I, if a girl walks around smelling like vagina, I think their pitch off funny is like pheromones are in the cooter. So I don't know if it but smells. I, but I think, it's, I think it's the scent that'll just stop you real quick. Like in your tracks. Oh, hold up. I think it might be the tits. It smells like an alpha fee in here. Hold up. <laughs> I would, I would, it would take me out of my tracks enough to stop. And then I'd be like, oh, what's going on here? I think, I, I think it would work. Really? Yeah, because it's just different. It's just a different, you know, if everybody has drinks that are brown and somebody has a blue drink, you're going to be like, oh, hold up. It wasn't the best example, but you know, <laughs> it stands out. Yeah, it might stand in a bad way. I don't know, man. Well, I think it's the weird part is in order for it to smell and connect to you, it's got to be a little stanky. Coot, but do I don't think pheromones. The cooter smell. did a tough mutter. Oh shit! You've been roller skating. Also, tough mutters. We can cut those out, right? I think we're done. <laughs> we're done with that. We're done with that. There's a there's a professor here that says that I, they actually think that it works more from the reverse side. That it should be men that sort of just rub a little bit of cum on themselves, like from a biological perspective. All right, everyone, come to my house. Go into my office. Roll around roll under around. the desk. If y'all want to find you? your wife, roll around. <gasps> that is funny. Like you nut on her and then you go, some for you, some for me. All right. Entrepreneur. Hold on. I just Sperm realized. Sperm bank motherfuckers probably smell great. You know, people who work at pizzerias smell like sausages yep. and pizza. Yep. Sperm bank. You leave that bitch. People are like, Hold up. Oh yeah. They're getting cooter left and right. I just realized that I'm not going to have my, the little office anymore. Where are you going to come? Are you going to clean that office? Which one? What? Oh, the one what now? You jerk off at. The one now? Does your girl know that you come freely? Yeah. I don't know if this is funny or not. Well, you know what? That's why we have an edit button. Uh, I was leaving for San Diego on Friday. Lady was working at home. And our like running joke is like, you know, if, if I'm looking to do a little bit of the um, coitus, Mm -hmm. I'll be like upstairs and I'll, be, I'll yell down and be like, oh no, stepsis. Funny. Just to, you know, Funny. put it out in the air. 
And then she's like, oh, I'm, baby, I'm sorry. I, I have a lot of work to do right now. I'm so sorry. And I was like, all right, no worries. I went upstairs and I uh, pulled out my phone. And, and you pulled something else out. Yeah. Okay. My penis. Hold on. I In didn't case think... people at home were wondering, it wasn't yeah. a phone charger. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I, that took a really hard right. Yeah. So, so, you know, I turned the shower on to give the illusion that I'm showering. You're not. I was touching myself. Yeah, you're gonna shower the ground or the sink because you come in the sink like a That's fucking where I came. baboon. That's where I finished was the I sink. I can't believe it. Yeah, so I watched a quick little Reddit video, quick little tutorial how to build a birdhouse. You know, get me jacked up. Uh, I don't know what I watched, but it was quick. It was a quick nut. It was a good nut. And then the second I get in the shower, maybe like two minutes later, she pops in. She's like, "Oh, hey, step bro," and I was like, "Oh no, and I was like, baby, I'm so sorry." I I just jerked off. And she's like, what? I was like, I'm so sorry. That's what I should have cried. But it was like, I honestly felt bad. I was like, oh. and she, she was like, like legit sad. She's yeah. like, oh, all right. And then she left. And I was like, fuck. Do you try to put the comeback in? <laughs> yeah, like a musket. <laughs> <laughs> like a second round musket. Does Get that work? There. Does that work? What? If putting... you come and you have like the regret and you put it, can you put it back in? Now, like that's recharge? recycling. Yes, Tax dude. right off. Dude, where is the fucking blue plastic box for that? A mouth. You have to swallow your own semen. But I don't know if that's funny, but I think that happens a lot. And I... But the thing is, I could have tried to just go around too, but I... My buddy, when I lived in New York, said that his... It wasn't his girlfriend, but his girl he was like hooking up with at the time would always be like, all right, I'm coming over at this time. Yeah. Do not jerk off. Because it happened so often that she would get there and he'd like be already out. Yeah. And she'd be like, dude, I'm getting on the A train right now. Do not your, jerk off. Put your dick away. Please. Wow. Dude, he had a hog and a half. I never saw it, but there what? was like lore. You ever have cock lore? What? Lore? Lore. It's like folklore. You're doing the thing again. What am I doing? You're just the using thing. SAT words for no reason. It's lore. Everyone on this side of the room knew that. what I was talking about. Yeah, I know. Exactly. But Jack? Yeah. There's no fucking way. It's like yeah, the story lore, behind it. I think it. you're about it's to like, say Lorax. That's Good a book. That's a book. Yeah. That you never read. <laughs> no. Reading is fucking stupid. Reading's dumb, I hear you, but no, it's not. <laughs> God, that was a funny thing to say out loud. <laughs> All right. Just defensive for reading. No, I, I should read. Anyways, there was- How do you feel about the person who brings a book to the, your local bar? I think he's trying to get pussy. Yeah. It just seems like it's like a look at me. Yeah, of course. And you ever seen a dude in the corner with like a like a burlap sack of a notebook, like trying to like just like they're like writing? No, you're not. Yeah. You're just writing, I won't cooter, I won't cooter, I won't cooter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you think wishing works? Wishing is just like the wishing secret well. but out loud. I told you from my eighth grade birthday I wish for a hand job. Did you get it? No. The funny part is I wish for at my eighth grade birthday, but the only people there were dudes. So, you know, either I got shitty friends or I made a shitty wish. I, yeah, whatever. I, I jerk a guy off. <laughs> For his birthday? Yeah. It's their birthday. But imagine that. Like, you're, you're watching. <laughs> true. But imagine that. You're my parents. You're watching me. They're like, but you think he's probably paying Funny. for like a bunny or a horse. And I'm yeah. like, somebody j jerk my cock. <laughs> so please. Dude, any kid that's walking around that's above the age of 11, every four thoughts are, I want to come. Oh, man, this day is what the guy I want to come. What is that? I had a moment in the hotel over the weekend, like a, like a 11 a.m. J.O. You had an 11 a.m. Yeah. jerk off? And then you, I, can't, you can't start. That's like eating a Cinnabon in the morning. Yo, I didn't it's feel great. It's just like, great. what are we I doing I didn't feel here? great. And then I sat there and I was like, now what? I got seven hours to kill. It was like 12.05, and I was like... You jerked off for an hour? Should I do it again? No, no, no. Oh, No, the moment... No, no, no. No, quick. Yeah, I was in the sink. Get in, get out. Oh, you're fucking crazy. I was in Nashville. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. God, the shows were nuts. Great humidity out there. Oh, dude, I was... I jerked off at night after the, fr like after the Friday shows, and it was like 2 in the morning, and I couldn't go to sleep. And yeah. I'm like, hold up. Round 2? Blue Chew? Huh? You hit the double jerk? Two. Damn. Two. J-O squared. Jojo. Hold up. That's an R&B artist. 
Jojo. True. It is. True. Um, all right. So, well, we, we, this has been all over the goddamn map. I had a great time. Should we jump into fucking uh, yeah, a little, little bit of sock, sock talk? talk? Yeah. A little bit, a lot of bit of. We have a sock talk here. This is a submission from Cheyenne. And she said, uh, urgent, I need help. What's the best angle and pose for selling feet pics and the best color for pedicures? Um, Stilettos, pumps, <laughs> and the club. Stilettos, right? Stilettos? Stilettos, just a G string for the foot. Hot. Really funny. Yes. Um, stilettos, very hot. And this is, um, I don't think, one that people are going to, uh, it's not going to be on the list of top 10 things they think they should do. Um, high, like uh, thigh high socks. Socks. So you're like, oh, I'm covering my feet. Weird. No, hot. Stilettos. Individual toe socks? I don't know. No, those are the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Really? Like sleeping bags for the toes. I hate it. <laughs> um, Five condoms. Awful. Maybe not. Uh, so stilettos, I would do thigh high socks. Um, I would do an arch pick. Because a lot of dudes are into arch. I would do a picture with um, your feet scrunched. Because a lot of dudes like scrunched uh, toes. Like they like the the kind of like the 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 wrinkly look. I'd open your toes. Because a lot of guys like toes open. Um, you just describing like it's a fucking mug shot. Turn left. Turn right. <laughs> it's really look straight. Like, she's trying to make make cash. Right. So you know, hit, you know I what I see all... on Reddit? I'm not looking for foot pics active. But yeah, sometimes sure. it pop up. Is like the camera's like this. And like the girl's almost out of focus. But the feet are like coming at you. Coming at you. That's hot. And. The the close that's really hot. That's a good one to add. The closer, which I think is very very hot, is like the picture that you look like you're not trying to show the feet, but you are. So like if you're on your stomach and you're taking a picture of like yourself and like your butt, right, in like a sexy like G string or whatever, but then your 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 knees are up and your and your feet are crossed. Does that make sense? This sounds like synchronized swimming. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what am I building an IKEA desk? Yeah, this is a lot going on here. No, show you know, it. So show it. I don't want to get in the ground. But so it's like, what? It's, it's like this. It's our last day in the studio. Celebrate. Don't tell me what to do. Show me your feet. All right. No, it's like this. It's like this. Oh, there we go. Don't tell me what to do. Does it? No, it's like this, right? And you're Where, on the ground. Where's the camera? The camera's here. And then so you're taking the foot. Like, oh. You know what I mean? so you're like, oh, oh no. that, that's like the, they call that shit the FaceTime. Yeah. Oh, oh, Because yeah. when you're, you're laying on the bed FaceTime, your yeah, feet yeah. be in the background. Yes, yeah, so you're like, oh, no, my feet are in there, you know? But it's like, oh, oh. I slipped up. And oh, my no, feet are in there. step bro. My yeah. phalanges are in the back. Phalanges, dude. I g- love a good fucking phalange thing. Fridays, dude. My si- my girl just got a goddamn pedicure. You know what I like to do? With that pedicure, pet it with my cum. <laughs> <laughs> Is a pedicure just like mascara for for toes? I think it's a haircut for toes. Okay. Yeah. Good more spa accurate. day. More accurate. Yeah. Yeah. You know what joke I never got to work is I was I want to be one of those fish that eat the feet. No one ever knows what it is. It's, it's so funny. You gotta to me. visualize it. Yeah, but it's so funny. Yeah, does I don't know if everybody. Well, I don't know. You think that people would know what that is, but yeah. Um. All right. Well, I mean, that it's was great advice. Yeah. I mean, she's, she's gonna, gonna make fifty k a month now. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. Let's do a secret talk. We have an sure. anonymous submission that says, uh, "I easily make my boyfriend come without touching his dick over his pants." What type of witch? Telecomnesis. If that's not the title, I swear to God, I'll <laughs> fist fight everyone in here. Telecomnesis? It's really good. It's a really good title. It's really good. Well, fuck the question. What's next? <laughs> Wait, what did she say? She's going to make him come without even touching him? She, no, she makes him come like over his pants without, without touching his dick. So no skin on skin. How? What? Remember, what was that movie, Wedding Crashers, where she makes him come with the OTPHJ? Well, that, that. that's, 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 no, very those are separate. Those are but separate. He, yeah, but he's not even, they're not, she's not even touching What it. is she doing? Putting his belt on? Talk about a Reiki massage. What are those? I heard a somebody massage, talking about a those. A massage with, with, you touch, don't touch anything. What? Yeah, she gave him a Reiki hand job. What do you mean a massage with, you don't touch anything? Son, you don't, on a Reiki massage, you don't get touched. What is it? It's so not a massage. $60, I understand. It what? sounds like a scam. It's like you literally get a massage like this. Like you fit, yeah, dude. Bring it up. I swear to God. Go no. Like this. Yeah, yeah. Like on, like like around. It's 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 wackadoo. See see if you can feel this. See if you can, see if you can feel this. I feel the air conditioning. No, I don't feel where, anything. Where am I touching you? Right now? Yeah. Shin. No. Where am I touching you? Yeah. When, when I oh, when see looking. it, I believe. All right, all right. It. All right. Do it. Do it. Do it. I can really, I'm fucking, I'm omnipresent. Where am I at? 
My cock. Uh, I was before. Oh. But it was your hand. Damn it. That's yeah, here she goes, dude. dude. Yeah. That's a scam. This is real dude, shit. I think my girlfriend's friend does this as like a side job. Yeah. That's so funny. You just give them like a CBD gummy, they pass out, and then you just... This is what they fucking do at TSA. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> they just wand you with their hand. This is not real. No, wait, this is really you real. Le- oh, well, but this is, is th- no, because people leave here being like, "How do you feel?" Oh, I feel rested. Yeah, because you laid down for an hour. You, you took a sleep. nap. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. So what I'm gonna say is, remember the time that I said she gave she gave him a reiki hand job and no one laughed. So now, do you understand why it's so goddamn funny? <laughs> that is funny. Great. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> All right, well, is that the episode? I think that's the episode. Man, this was this was such a fucking great episode. Great way it, to send it off yeah. last episode, last yeah. studio. Let us know how you make them come. I'm curious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, we're going to miss this studio. The next one is, it's just like, it's we've been working on it for a couple months now. Yeah. And it's exactly what we want. It's going to be sick. Yeah, so the big reveal is next episode next episode see you guys so next episode we're gonna do the big new studio reveal and also obviously freaking merch drop august 1st guys august 1st august finally the long-awaited merch drop this is just one piece that i'm wearing right now freaking blow up the yaris freaking show them the back yeah Um, dude so for we're gonna drop a lot more of the collection next week on the 18th in the new studio so see the new studio see the new merch we get new baby also friend reminder we have a patreon four extra episodes drops every friday ad free uh bonus content it's incredible also access to the discord and iconic episodes such as we interviewed gabe we interviewed trev's girlfriend interviewed a girl that i uh, banged down in whatever. this studio. No, in, you didn't bang her in the I studio. Didn't interview her. Her. Yeah, 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 the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So if you guys want that content, only five dollars a month. Um, so go on patreon.com backslash stiff socks pod. That is patreon.com backslash stiff socks pod. And uh, and yeah, if you guys want to do the Apple version, which is stiff socks plus, um, you get the four extra episodes, audio only, ad free. Um, uh, yeah, so that's only on the Apple feed. So if you guys want to do that, do that as well. And uh, that's it, man. Guys, till next mother freaking Wednesday, we'll be in the new studio. We love you. Peace. Thank you so much for your support. We're out. And before we get out of here, uh, we're just going to play a couple of minutes from last week's Patreon. It's always fun. So here's a snake little peek of that. Enjoy. I need to know your guys' thoughts on the CDC guidelines for quote unquote monkeypox sex. I can't believe this is a real thing. But basically, the CDC's official line is one person should jerk off in the room and their partner should be six feet away also jerking off. What? No, 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 no. What? No, that's that's how you start a campfire. I what don't are like you this talking about? What are the Jumanji's going you're on here? Drink, that'd be like me and you just both drinking off. That's phone sex, but without the phone or the sex. None of it. <laughs> That's loser time. Hold on. So a monkey That's like bo- if you just knock the doors down on a dorm room. So if they both have You don't understand pox? what I just said. <laughs> so if they both have monkey pox? Look, if my partner has monkey pox, I'm not near them. Hey, come jerk off next to me six feet away. No. Monkey pox, first of all, there's only like three people in the world who got monkey pox. And they're jerking off. Are they? Apparently. Also, if you got monkey pox, it creates a lot of like undulations on your cock. Undulations? Yeah. You knew that word would trip me up. You did it on purpose. I didn't. No, it's just a lot of, a lot of ebbs and flows in your... It's ebbs a, and flows? A lot of bumps. You're like one of those people that's like, what does relish mean? Like, oh, to relish is to relish on something. You, you never told me. Oh, undulations? You said undulations, then you said ebbs and flows. Um, <clears throat> so you're just you, talking an SAT question. No, if you look at like... If, okay, I'll put it in, in our land. Golf. Yep. So you're looking at a green. Yep. And there's like lots of like... Like this? Hills. Hills and shit? Yep. Those Curves, are un- turns. Those yeah, are it's like a wave. Like a wave in the ocean. Oh, so if she got a fat ass, she got undulations. Um, She have a massive undulation, yeah. I'm going to yeah. start using that. There you go. So listen, so I found the official the official guidelines on the CD. This is on cdc.gov. How can a person lower their risk of transmitting monkeypox during sex? It says, first of all, you just shouldn't be having sex. But if you can't not, it says, uh, have virtual sex with no in-person contact. Masturbate together at a distance of at least six feet without touching each other and without touching any rash or sores. Consider having sex with your clothes on or covering areas where rash or sores are present. Your clothes on? But the clothes on seems like a big jump. You're still making out, but you have a goddamn Ralph Lauren sweater on? Yeah. How does that make any sense? Um, It does say to avoid kissing. 
<laughs> I'm in. This is the best one. Remember to wash your hands, fetish gear, sex toys, and any fabrics after having sex. The CDC has never had sex, and this just proves it. They're like, you could fuck six feet away or while wearing a jumpsuit. This is terrible. So it's if, really if, funny, though. if both people know they have monkeypox, or that's the part I'm confused about. This is if if one of you does. I okay. guess. If one person has monkeypox and you're that horned up, where you no. If my girl gets monkeypox, guess what's next? We broke up. No. Sir? Virtual jerking off. Sir? Send a Zoom link. Monkeypox? You know what's crazy funny is if you're doing virtual sex over Zoom, which people have definitely done. Sir, that's, yes. But but they hit the 40 minute time limit. She's like, you didn't pay for the, the premium? Like, oh. oh. Like, Goodbye, opens Pornhub. Right. This is so funny. The, the CDC is like, I don't think I've ever had sex. They are Mormons. And they're also just doing, ex- like, I don't, I don't understand any of those examples. Like, it's why so would you do that? Masturbate next to each other, just staring at it's each other. It's actually kind of hot. What are you looking at? Her doing it? Yeah, her cooter. What if she's looking at her phone? As she's jerking off? Yeah. Like, what's on the phone? NFL.com? I just feel like I would turn into like an orangutan. What? I'm just like a monkey. Monkey box. Yeah. yeah. I'm just in the room, just like feverishly jerking off to another thing. And you're just like, yeah, uh huh. Yep, yep, yep. That's what sex is. You turn into cavemen. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Where do you look during sex? At my own body. No, uh, I'm looking. A lot of truth to that. No, I don't. I, I don't look. I look. Uh, I look at her body, but neck down. No, like gazing in the fucking eyes. What am I? What am I? The CDC? <laughs> yeah. You be looking in eyes? Nah. There you go. Who's looking in eyes? That'd be down. Ew. Really? Love. That's intimacy. It's not intimacy, dude. What do you look at? Sometimes I just look at the, the P going in the V. Yeah. I look at the P going in the V. I look at her stomach, tits. I look at me choking her out. Spit in the mouth. Ooh, the old hot s- shit. Spit in the mouth. Yeah. Have her swallow it. Make her say thank you. All hot stuff. The CDC has never done that. Monkeypox. CDC these nuts. Okay. Huh? There Come you on, go. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that preview of last week's Patreon. Um, check it out at patreon.com slash Pod or on Apple Podcasts. You can go there, tap it. It's right there. Both $4.99 a month. Boom. Peace. Peace.